All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. The San Francisco 49ers secured the number two seed. They won 10 straight football games to finish off the season. And Brock Purdy has won each of his first five career starts, becoming just the third rookie quarterback to do so. San Francisco, the number one ranked defense. Guys like Elijah Mitchell are back. Debo Samuel's back. We'll talk about those two guys and their weeks they had earlier today against Arizona. But this team is red hot. They're the hottest team in football. And I still feel pretty good, uh, or I should say, I don't feel good about Philadelphia. I still feel pretty confident that Brock Purdy and San Francisco are going to have only home games up until that Super Bowl. And uh, you know, anything can happen, but I still, I'm not worried about Brock Purdy on the road. So welcome back to the channel. We're talking 49ers today. Unfortunately, my Green Bay Packers just lost. So I think, you know, either way, honestly, San Francisco, whether it's Seattle or Green Bay, or Green Bay I, I think that they're still going to win that game. We'll talk about it throughout the week, though. If this we get this video to 250 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. Once again, I post daily NFL content. I post Niners videos about four or five times a week, something, something like that. So 49ers Nick Bosa today became the fourth player since 1982 when the individual sack became an official statistic to record at least one sack in 13 games within a single season, joining Demarcus Ware, Justin Houston, and Chandler Jones. This guy's well on his way to win deep boy. And he, it's just, it's not just him, but 17 and a half sacks on the year. I mean, this guy's an absolute, he's just a beast. It, it really is as simple as that. Nick Bosa is a beast. And it's crazy, man. It's just, it, it's not just him. So he picked one up today against Arizona. But you have Dre Greenlaw. You have, I mean, there's just... It really is. I mean, we could go down the list. Fred Warner, Charvarius Ward, Jimmy Ward. I mean, the, the list just goes on and on. It's absolutely terrifying. And, you know, Geno Smith in Seattle, they've done a good job so far this season. But we're going to focus primarily on some stuff today. And, you know, once again, Brock Purdy had just another phenomenal game. I know Arizona, they're going downhill fast. Kyler Murray's injured. They've been battling injuries throughout the regular season. They just, you know, they, they're nowhere near their expectations for the year. It's just not a great year for him, basically, to summarize it. So what did I say this past week? What were a couple of things I wanted to see? Well, I wanted, obviously, a blowout. It would be great to get a blowout victory. Very similarly to that Buccaneers win about a month ago at home, once again. But Elijah Mitchell made his return. Five carries, 55 yards, and two touchdowns. He had that 37-yarder, CMC. You know, I, I really wanted CMC to just take it easy. They only ran him 10 times today. I wanted to see a little bit of Jordan Mason. We did see that. Eight carries at 28 yards. But really, the main talking point for me was Elijah Mitchell. Five carries, 55 yards. It's 11 yards per attempt and two touchdowns. And then real quick, Brock Purdy threw for almost 200 yards. Three touchdowns, no interceptions. Just continues to play almost perfect football. We've been continuing to see more Brandon Ayuk. Four catches, 59 yards today. I would have liked to see a little bit more Debo Samuel. They'd get, they did get a run in from him, but... You know, once again, I'm going to prioritize health. You know, he caught two balls today. Welcome back, Debo Samuel. It's just another playmaker for this squad. When we take a look at San Francisco's offense in general on the year, Brock Purdy, you know, hasn't lost a game starting. Finished the season off. Nick Bosa, actually, we'll get to that quote. Nick Bosa wanted him in uh, conversations for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Earlier today, Nick Bosa talking about the playoffs. Here's a quote. We have just got to make sure that the young guys who haven't been through it know that this opportunity and this team that we have right now is not one to waste. So these guys aren't rookies anymore. Brock Purdy, you know, I know people still love to call him Mr. Irrelevant, but he's not Mr. Irrelevant anymore. He's not seventh round, third string in quarterback. He's you know, first year vet. So Man, it's just kind of, it's, it's crazy. Sometimes you just got to kind of take a step back here and, and realize what he is doing right now for San Francisco. It's not like they're beating measly teams. It's not like it's just Arizona. There have been some very impressive wins. Most recently, on the road against Seattle, that's just, you know, I feel really good about that win, man. Thankfully, they don't have to play in Seattle. We all know nobody wants to play there, but CMC, huge addition. You have Elijah Mitchell back, you have Brian Nenai, you have George Kittle, you have Debo Samuel. I mean, it's just, 
they're ready to go. And just looking around the league, you know, I know Jalen made his return today, but I'm, I'm still not sold on, even if Jalen Hurts was fully healthy, not necessarily sold on the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm definitely not sold on the Minnesota Vikings. I'm definitely not sold on the Dallas Cowboys. It has nothing to do with this week or just this week. It's just <sighs> San Francisco is the more well-rounded team. They're very well coached, and they have the best defense in the damn league. So I don't know who's going to stop San Francisco, but we'll cover all that in the hopefully upcoming weeks, but definitely this, this next week, game day week. We don't have the official time schedule as far as I'm concerned quite yet. That Packers game ended about two minutes ago, but that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button, hit that sub button. Quick one for you guys. Go ahead, most importantly, down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this team. Peace.